think of if what can go wrong in the world in five years? A lot. What can go wrong in the world in a year? Well, a lot too, but less than five years. What can go wrong in the world in a month? A decent amount, but less than a year. What can go wrong in the world in five minutes? Not a whole lot. What can go wrong in the world in the next two minutes? Probably nothing. Do you understand? So you, safety is in shrinking. Safety of disaster lies in shrinking your time frame. So you can become more and more secure as you shrink your time frame. That secure of what? Secure and more certain that there is nothing that's going to destroy me inside of a two-minute period. There is very little, if anything, that can destroy me inside of a five-minute period. But there is a lot that can destroy me in a five-day period or in a one-day period, more than in a five minute period and a two minute period moving averages guys i want you to have the 20 period moving average here it's a simple moving average i want you to have that on all of your charts at all times i also want you to have the 200 period moving average now these are our staples there's a short moving average the 20 there's a longer moving average the 200 the 200 all right. Now, the general consensus is that if the 20 per moving average, if the 20 per moving average is above the 200 period moving average, see, it's above and it's moving upward. The 20 per moving average is moving upward. You're going to look for buys. Do you understand? You're going to look for buys. If the, so you're going to look for elephant buys. There's an elephant bar. Okay. You're going to look for color change buys. You see? Okay. You're going to look for tail bar buys. I don't really see any here of significance, but Remember, if the 20 is rising and it's rising above the 200, you're going to look predominantly for buys. And we, we have three ways to buy elephants, tails or colas, all right, and color changes. But we want to do these in the direction of the 20 period moving average. So if the 20 period moving average is rising, we want to play up. If the 20 period moving average is declining, let me see if I have one here. Yep. See, the 20 period moving average is declining. We want to ignore up. We want to only play the signals down. So remember what this what our plays down are. We play elephant bars down. We play tail bars and we play color changes so green first and then red takes out the low of the green right these are our three ways to play down one two three you just wait for whichever one comes first so here is an elephant bar. Boom! Jump into the elephant bar. The, the, notice that the 20 print moving average is declining. The 20 print moving average is under the 200. It's telling you go this way, bet this way. All right? Now just wait for any one of these three to happen. The first thing I get, some people would say, Oliver, I see a topping tail bar here. Okay, boom, topping tail bar, play underneath the topping tail bar, boom. Or if you saw first the elephant bar and not the tail bar, 
Boom, jump into the elephant bar, stop above the elephant bar. Look at these tail bars. You don't, you have one, two, three, four, five tail bars. Look, one tail bar is powerful. You've got five tail bars here telling you, listen, these are rockets, right? They're gonna shoot downward. Okay, so we're playing the we're playing the three things in the direction of the 20. Okay? Some people say, well, Oliver, what happened to look at this color change here? Look at this elephant bar. You don't want that elephant bar. Why? Because your 20 is not above the 200 and it's not rising above the 200. Your 20 is under the 200. It's under the red one. It's telling you bet this way, not up way. So you ignore any up signal. Ignore it. Even if it goes up like that, just ignore it. It's just not your play because your 20 is telling you to play this way. Your better odds are going to be playing with the 20 period moving average. All right. Beautiful. So we ignore anything bullish, anything that says buy. We're not getting tricked like that. We're only going to take any signal that says boom, any signal that says short. And so if I played this, if I jumped into this bar with 25,000, I'm jumping into the tail play with another 25,000. And here are my two plays. One, two. Now, remember when you're supposed to take profits? You take profits away from the 20. When you get here, you're near the 20, you're away from the 20, you can take profits. You're away from the 20, you can take profits. All right? Near the 20, we're gonna look to get in. Away from the 20, we take profits. Away from the 20, we take profits. Remember also, you can track the big bar. Boing. Where is the next big bar? You can use tail bars or big bars. Like look, from the tippy top of the bar to the bottom, that's a big bar. Doesn't have to be solid. Boing. Boing. Away, take profits. You don't have to wait for this to go. If you get away, don't wait for your protection. Just take the profit and run. Run, take the money and run. The problem is that traders will see this declining 20 and try to get cute and say, no, I'm gonna try to buy the bottom. This is the bottom. No, this is the bottom. No, this is the bottom. And you're gonna go broke fighting this 20 period moving average. That 20 period moving average is saying that way, that way, down. This 20 period moving average is saying, all right, let me get this back here. This 20 period moving average is saying, play that way. This 20 period moving average is saying, play that way. All right? And so, you're a buyer on this five minute chart. You're a buyer on this two minute chart. Now, I'm gonna mention something really fast that I will get into in just a little bit in more detail, but let me mention this. You see this brief little, I think that's a little too thin for you to see, but you see that brief little break of the 20? This gets a lot, this suckers a lot of novices. Oh, it broke the 20 period moving average. I should go the, I should now bet down. No, wrong, no, wrong. Oh, Oliver, it broke the 20 period moving average. I should bet down. No, 
wrong. The 20 print moving average is like ropes that you can lean on. They don't break very, it doesn't break very easily. So when, when a boxer leans against the ropes, it doesn't mean the ropes have broken. This is leaning against the ropes, leaning against the ropes. You understand? Leaning against the ropes. The, 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 the moving average is more like a rubber band. It's not like a glass floor that shatters at the first point of contact. So don't get suckered in by these brief, temporary, apparent breaks. That's the moving average leaning. And it's going to whip that stock back. You understand what I'm saying? Play with the rising long. Play with the declining short to the downside. All right. All right. Cool. Now we're gonna we're building this step by step, guys. We're building this step by step, right? So we're playing with the twenty. Now here, here's here's a cryptocurrency, Solana. Again, guys, it doesn't matter the financial item: stocks, options, bonds, futures, forex, cryptocurrencies. Um. You can apply what I'm telling you, trading mother-in-laws. If there were an exchange to trade mother-in-laws, wow, that would be nice. Right. Um, you can apply this. All right. So the I remember the underlying item means absolutely nothing. This is universal across all markets and all time frames for the most part. All right, guys. So take a look at this. Now, here's Solana. Uh, I grabbed this this morning. Here's a five-minute chart of Solana. Each bar represents five minutes of trading. Now, the moving average in the middle, the moving average over here, guys, check this out. The moving average over here is flat and wavy. Stay away. It's not yours. Over here, though, oh, it's time to fall in. Fall in. Rising 20, fall in. Cut, 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 fall in. Cut, 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 fall in. Cut, 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 fall in. I like that. I like that. All right. And do this 20 times. Fall into something with a rising 20, 20 times. I guarantee you, if you cut before you're down 65, get rid of those and let the others flourish. Oh my God. Mathematically, you're going to be a winner. That is with no other skill, no other talent. And I'm going to give you some extra skill and talent on top of this to improve on it. But if we stopped here, you could go to any financial item and just wait for a rising 20 and fall in or wait for a declining 20 and fall in and cut, cut, cut at 65. And you're good. You're good. And some people say, well, Oliver, if it's that simple and it is, I, it's not easy. It's simple. But some people say, Oliver, if it's that simple, why do so many people lose? Well, it's like, why do so many people not do the right thing in life? How many people in life really do the right thing? How many people in life say, I'm going to go to the gym, but really go? How many people who say, I'm going to stop smoking, but don't stop smoking? Like, you follow what I'm saying? Like, the number of people that do what they're supposed to do is very small in, on this planet. Now, I don't know about other planets. We have yet to do intergalactic travel, but I will tell you on this planet, less than 20% of the people on Earth do what they're supposed to do. Now, what's problematic also is that the vast majority of people don't even know what to do. They don't have a starting point. They don't have structure. They don't have a plan like $600 a week, $200 a day, $65 a trade, rising 20, I go long. Declining 20, I go short, and I don't lose more than 65. They don't have that. So all they have is a casino. When people say, Oliver, trading is a casino, I say you're right for the vast majority, but you're not right for me, right? When you say, when you, when you, when you, when you run into a professional poker player who supports their whole life playing poker, it is not gambling for that professional. It's gambling for the millions of people that might sit down with that professional. But it is not gambling for that dude right there. You understand? This is not gambling for me, but it is gambling for millions of people who trade against me every single day. They have no structure. They have no plan. They have no 10 steps. Do you understand? And that means that it is a casino for them. 
When people tell me it's gambling, trading is gambling, I agree with them 100%. And it is the case for the vast majority. Your question has to be, is it going to be gambling for me? Or is it going? am I going to be like the professional poker player where I sit down and I trade against the people who, who like to fight the 20-period moving average, who have no discipline to eliminate trades when they're supposed to eliminate trades? Remember, guys, we need losing traders to make money in the markets. I hope that doesn't make you feel bad about yourself. But there are two types of market participants in this world, right? There are those who make deposits into the market and they never withdraw. And then there are those who never make a deposit, never. They only withdraw. So which one do you want to be? I'm going to teach, I'm going to try to convince you to never make a single deposit into this game. You keep your money safe, traders. Keep your family's capital safe. Don't risk your capital. No one on Wall Street riches that riches risks their capital and they make millions and they don't risk their capital. This idea that I just want to use my money is a very poor mentality. It is a very low mentality. No professional does that. And no professional in real estate does that. No professional investment investing does that. No professional in trading does that. Now you can go overboard with leverage and stuff like that. I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the fact that I'm going to try to convince you to never make a deposit into this game. The last deposit I made into a brokerage account was in 19, to 1994. I only withdrew from 1994. Now, who am I withdrawing from? I'm withdrawing from people who have no structure. I'm withdrawing from people who use this, who think that they're doing something constructive, but really they're just going to the casino. They're putting money into a brokerage account or trading account. They have no idea what they're doing. And that money is mine. And it's yours if you follow these steps. So this is basically a war or a game against depositors and withdrawers. If you trade my capital, you never make a deposit. You only withdraw. Right? And that's the professional approach to this game. Now. Let's continue here, guys. Let's continue. All right. Um, da, 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 da. Boom. Here is trade with the 20. Here is a declining 20 per moving average on this five minute chart. Just fall into the downside. Bet down, bet down. Play with the 20. Don't try to find the bottom when the 20 is declining. This is a losing proposition. Find something that has a relatively smooth declining 20 and then fall into the downside. Cut, cut, cut before you reach 65 and you do this 20 times at the end of 20 times guarantee you're going to be profitable if you cut properly and you play the right moving average scenarios now some people say well oliver how often does this happen look way more often than you have money for this is not something odd. this is not something where you have to go days and can't find an opportunity there will be more opportunities than you can possibly ever play every single day. This is not scarce. This is not something you search for, really. This is something that happens to every single stock at some point or another. So if you have a nice little list of things to trade, there will always be something with a rising 20. There will always be something with a declining 20. So you will never have a dearth of opportunities. Your problem will be, Oliver, can I have more capital because I am I'm doing well with this level but I can't play this and I'm missing so much capital. Your problem will be that you don't have enough capital to play everything. It will not be the reverse, just so you know. All right? Very prevalent. All right? Now, remember when I told you, let's take a look at this um 20 period moving average here. Remember I told you that one of the traps that a lot of novice traders get into is they get into this cross the moving average nonsense. This is nonsense. Do you understand? We have taken money from traders so often that have this rudimentary ABC kindergarten notion that if a stock crosses a moving average, that means something. 
Like, are you kidding me? No. So let's get rid of these nonsensical notions, right? You see how this stock here or this item crosses the 20. Some people would say, okay, now it's time to bet this way. No. No, it's not time to bet that way. It may not be time to do anything, but it is not time to bet that way. Why? Because your 20 doesn't look like this. Your 20 does not look like this. So even though we have dropped below the 20, doesn't mean anything. It might mean just go somewhere else and find where something hasn't broken the rising 20, but don't bet on the downside here. Don't let these temporary drops or cracks make you think something has basically changed until this line right here, guys. Let me see if I can change the color of this. Until this line right here starts to drop. Now you can start down. But you see how it's flat? No flat playing. I'm going to repeat that. No, rise, smooth rising play. Smooth declining play. Flat don't play. I'm telling you. Not now. Don't play. Do not play. This is flat. Do not play. This is rising play. Fall in. Cut, cut, cut. Fall in. Cut, cut, cut. You understand? This is rising. Fall in. Cut, cut, cut. Fall in. Cut, cut, cut. Just dive in. Put your Speedos on, all right? And just take a dive. Ladies, bikinis, take a dive in. It's okay. The water's good. Cut, 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 though. All right? Don't let 65 hit you. Don't let 65, but just fall in. Dive in. All right. Okay. 